Taurus, what I am being guided to tell you for the full moon, the main message for you is it's time for the gold. Bronze and silver is not going to work for you anymore. So you're being guided to step into your real personal place in your soul purpose and move forward in that. So welcome to the channel. This is your July Capricorn full moon messages and remember this is going to go for a while so we started off with capricorn full moon in june that was the full moon energy and now we're having the second one and you guys have probably heard it over and over again but that first 30 days was really about you reflecting analyzing figuring out the answers where you're going to go how you're going to do it how you're going to get the gold right and that's what i see coming through and your guides are saying right now with this energy use it to jump up and that is going to be huge for those of you who are ready let's go ahead and pull some cards for you because this is a really big message where taurus who is normally really um i see prosperity around a lot of taurians they usually have quite a bit you know how to manage money you know how to manifest money it's you it's like built into your zodiac sign but you may have been in a place of being indecisive over the last while that i'm talking about and for some of you it could be that 30 days but i feel for most of you what i'm seeing is four dash five four to five years and some of you it may even go way back further to maybe 20,008 or even before that could be your entire life but there is a big decision to be made and what they're saying Taurus is some of you through this energy you were on hold you were on hold and it's like the spiritual team around you and remember this is a collective general message but your team around you was putting you in this position because of what you're going to do in the future how you're going to bring that gold how you're going to feel secure and safe in your own life now most of you it's no longer about it, the old way of doing things has already changed we know this even even if you're a creator everything is changing and it's going to continue to change it's not going to stop but what it's doing is making us tap into our intuition and go within in order to make uh the right moves is what i just heard thank you my guides talk to me through my ear i hear them i see visions i feel it and then i translate whatever they're telling me and the cards coincide with what i'm hearing you'll see as you go forward if you're new to my channel and if you are a subscriber i welcome you back one of the things i'm seeing for you guys is the next moon okay in august that blue moon that is like massive victory so this is just like that time for you to move forward over this next 20 to 30 days it's a big big deal now you may have been around people okay that were causing this you've got the two of wands in that most i'm seeing two three four two three four what numbers are you seeing are you seeing twos are you seeing threes what number are you guys seeing i'm seeing two three four which is a progressive number and that's what i'm seeing for your reading i'm also seeing this in my own life two three four this is a beautiful number saying that you're getting ready to emerge you really you're really getting ready to make a decision with this two of wands it is a big deal Okay, for those of you that look at the 3D and the 5D timeline and did you make that jump that you may have heard out there because everybody's talking very similar conversations about what's actually going on and you have to find the the message that actually works for you. You may already be riding high, but that doesn't mean you don't have a choice to make you do. You have a choice coming in, a decision. It may not be with your career. It may not be with your finances or your home, your security, the land you live on, but it may be more in a relationship status or even creating a community around you where you're gonna help people. You're gonna take your sole purpose whatever that is, and you're going to help people in your local community. Now, I am seeing some of you are helping people, like international is the word that I hear, international. I don't feel that you're doing it yet. 
Um, let me know if you're already doing that. Put that in the comments. Let us all know if you're already doing it. But what I'm seeing is international is on the way. You have a beautiful, beautiful intuition. And I feel for Taurus, you guys are guided by your intuition. So getting this is not an easy thing for you to be in that. Okay. The last time you were there may have been when you met a twin flame. Remember, the soul connection that triggered you into your own shake-up, wake-up, tower-removing energy. That's the last time I feel you were in this. And then you've been working through that. But your intuition really rides high, and your intuition is riding you right into the Ace of Swords. Being authentic in who you are. Being genuine to people and giving. And I know... Taurus, you give what you can and you don't give what you can't, right? It's like investing. You know, you never give your rent money to invest. <laughs> you, you don't do that. You pay your rent and then whatever's left over is what you invest, right? So it's like I see you as that kind of person where you're very methodical about the way that you invest, the way you put into your security around you so you always feel safe so you'll always have that net now you have a new beginning and it is going to be a big deal now again what i said is you know bronze and silver is not going to work and for some of you i feel you're dealing with somebody around you who is keeping you in this whether that be in the memory broken heart broken family broken uh, business relationships, whatever it is, I just see you really um, being put into that. We have the Two of Cups. This is the soul connection that I'm talking about. Remember, I said the last time you may have been here was when you were triggered into your spiritual awakening. That's what I mean. It happens from a soul connection, a soulmate and they trigger you, and they shake you up, and it's like, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, am I going crazy, and you weren't, and now that you're starting to see things very clearly, you're understanding what the purpose of that person was in your life, and that's very good, some of you might be a little concerned if they're going to come back, and I will tell you, if they don't come back over the next 30 days, they're definitely going to hear from them, Mercury in retrograde is in August, August is a huge month too. These are very big months all the way from April, the entire year, but all the way from April through the through the end of the year, especially from April to the end of October. These are very important months on how it affects your future. Not just your future as a human being, but your future as a soul. Where what happens in the spiritual essence of you so it's very very big deal coming on you had a lot of burden around you you may have been overwhelmed and that's why making this decision is really really a challenge because of the burden that comes with it there's a lot you know when we go to make choices in life it can be very challenging and we make choices in a split decision that can affect us for 10 years that may have happened to you where you made a decision that took you backwards. That can be marrying the wrong person, buying the wrong home, going in the wrong career. Let us know if that happened to you. We want to hear your comments. And that's what gets this energy shift coming in so that you grab the actual guidance of this reading. You're going to let go of this burden. Remember the 10, always in the tarot, the 10 turns into a 1. That would be the Ace of Wands. That's the passion. If you can't find your passion, you're not going to be able to hit your purpose. If you need help with that, you can go to my website. I'll post a link in here. Go to my website, uh, whether it's the blog that I'm going to post or the actual link. You're going to see where I'm having a live workshop, Finding Your Purpose and Your Passion. Because that's what's going to propel you forward, and that's when you make this decision. It's going to turn right into the Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, you have the card of judgment, okay? Whoever put this burden on you, like I said, you're going to be hearing from somebody, for some of you, 
Uh, it doesn't mean that they're going to show up on your doorstep, although it can, absolutely. For a lot of us, it's more a telepathic where you can hear them in your head. You replay the situation. But this isn't so that you feel bad or anything like that. This is that big grand finale disconnect. All of the things from the past, every single thing that you've learned from time you were born till this time right now. This is one of the most epic times we can ever be in our physical form as a spiritual body because of what's going on. The new evolutionary cycle, right? The new timeline. People jumping timelines, going into different parallels, seeing that we can actually do this. And that's what I feel is really priority here with Taurus. We have this beautiful world card, and this is talking about you, Taurus. You've got something amazing. This is a new chapter. This is relocating. This is moving into the international waters, like I was saying. The future. This is the present. This is the past. And if I look up here, that is in the ethers. It hasn't even come down into your head. But I'm seeing it in the future where it may not have landed, but it may be in your plans. So it's important that you choose wisely so that you don't go into another cycle. That's your moon message because it's time for you to hit the gold. Now let me give you one more message. I will be posting your August reading and they're going to be a big, big deal. So watch for that over the next few days. All right, we have the Queen of Cups. This Queen of Cups is beautiful. The Queen of Cups is a person who has got everything that they want. <laughs> and even though this is a water sign, I'm laughing because even though this is a water sign, every time I see this, I think of you. I think of Taurus. And it's not because I know a Taurus Pisces combination. I don't ask people what their, you know, what their sun, moon, rising. I don't go into all that with people. If they want to share it with me, awesome, but I don't go poking for information. But this is somebody who's really overcome a lot when it comes to what you love. It isn't just about romance. This card is not just about romance. It's about passion. It's about being excited about life. It's about self-love, self-care, going in the direction that really heals your heart. And that's what I feel for a lot of you. You've been doing healing your heart. And now you're at that point where you're going to make the decision, right? You're going to make that choice. You definitely have your divine masculine and divine feminine energy here. But look at the difference between the two. Wow. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's the difference. Wow. Oh, cool. Okay. So we want this to be the Ace of Cups. Then they're equal. So right now it's about you finishing, healing anything that hurt you, getting all those lessons and knowing that it's never going to come back again. If you hear telepathically, Taurus, somebody talking in your head, Talk to them. Tell them, you know, I'm sorry for my part of it. And I know you are too. Adios. Or you can have the actual conversation. Um, it can make you feel a little out there. But it will definitely do the trick. You can book a sub, uh, uh, You can book to join that live virtual. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Much love.